SpongeBob SquarePants, Batter Up SpongeBob, a kid's book read aloud. Here we go. Sure, Dad, I'd love to play on your baseball team, SpongeBob said to his father. He hung up his shell phone. Gary, this is going to be so great. I used to play baseball when I was just a little sponge, and I loved it. Turn the page. I was good, too. Slugger Squarepants. They called me. SpongeBob said as he pretended to swing a bat. Meow, said Gary. Oh, sure, SpongeBob answered, nodding. I still remember how to play. All I need is a little practice. That gave SpongeBob an idea. I better go down to the basement and dig out my equipment. Let's see. Soccer, football, sand hockey. Where is my baseball stuff? Tossing his gear behind him, SpongeBob rummaged in every box. Aha, he cried, here we go. SpongeBob triumphantly pulled a big squishy ball out of, the, of a trunk. He also found a tee to put the ball on a fat plastic bat and a glove. Hey, he cried, delighted, my old cap. He placed the little cap onto his square head. Still fits, he exclaimed. Gary wasn't so sure. SpongeBob carried all of his baseball equipment to the front yard. He carefully balanced the squishy ball on the tee just as he was about to swing his plastic bat, he heard, Hey, SpongeBob, what are you doing? Startled, SpongeBob looked up to see Patrick and said, I'm just brushing up on my baseball skills. Oh, boy, Patrick shouted. I love baseball. Then he asked, What's baseball? Just watch and learn, pal, SpongeBob said. The key is to keep your eye on the ball. It's easy to keep your eye on the ball when it doesn't go anywhere, Patrick said. The next day, SpongeBob went to the baseball field where his dad's team was playing. Good thing I practiced. I want dad to be proud of me. But when he got to the field, he saw they, were they weren't they were using squishy balls. They, were they weren't using plastic bats. They weren't even using tees. With his mouth hanging open, SpongeBob watched as a pitcher reared back and hurled a fastball. It came whizzing across the plate and smacked into the catcher's glove. Whap! Hey, SpongeBob, yelled Patrick from the stands. This is great. You mean the fast pitching? SpongeBob called back. No, the ice cream, Patrick answered. Hi, son, called SpongeBob's dad cheerfully. You made it just in time. The game is about to start and we're up at bat first. G great, SpongeBob said, trying to act calm. His da dad stepped up to the plate, swung, and got a hit. Go, Dad, cheered SpongeBob, and his dad, as his dad ran, he was fast and safe on first. Okay, son, yelled SpongeBob's dad, your turn. SpongeBob didn't want to let his dad down. He'd have to give this scary version of baseball a try. Hey, SpongeBob, Patrick shouted from the stands. Yeah, buddy? Asked SpongeBob, looking to his friend for encouragement. This ice-cold lemonade is refreshing, too. SpongeBob walked over to the row of bats, trying to see which one was the smallest. He picked one up. 
He was amazed at how heavy it was. Batter up, the umpire shouted impatiently. SpongeBob nervously walked towards the plate, his knees shaking and his hands trembling. Hey kid, aren't you forgetting something? Yelled one of the other players with a snort. You forgot your batting helmet. He tossed SpongeBob a sturdy plastic helmet. Th -th Thanks, murmured SpongeBob as he took off his baseball cap and put on the hard helmet. Go SpongeBob, Patrick cheered. Get a touchdown. SpongeBob stepped up to the plate. The catcher signaled the pitcher, telling him what kind of pitch to throw. The pitcher nodded. SpongeBob's knees were shaking. The pitcher looked to, to first base, went to his windup, and zzz, sent the ball rocking past home plate. SpongeBob never even got a chance to swing. Strike one, <clears throat> called the umpire. In no time at all, the pitcher had thrown two more strikes. You're out, the umpire screamed. That's okay, SpongeBob, his dad called from first base. You'll get him next time. Wonderful, Patrick shouted. SpongeBob looked up at him, confused. This popcorn is wonderful, he explained. Turn the page. SpongeBob felt better out in the field running after the ball. He was actually pretty good at throwing it, too. But in no time at all, it was his turn at bat again. He picked up a bat, put on a batting helmet, and walked to the plate trying to keep his knees from knocking. He saw his dad watching from second base. SpongeBob took a deep breath, thinking, keep your eye on the ball. The pitcher pulled down his cap. He looked to the left. He looked to his right. Then he leaned way back and fired the ball towards home plate. Keeping his eye on the ball, SpongeBob swung the bat and... Dink! He got a hit. He couldn't believe it. He just stood there, staring at the ball rolling through the grass. He shoots, he scores, cheered Patrick from the stands. Run, SpongeBob, run, yelled his dad from second base. Oh, right, SpongeBob said. He was so surprised he'd gotten a hit. He forgot to run. SpongeBob ran as fast as he could to first base. The pitcher sprinted towards the ball, scooped it up, and tossed it to the first baseman. But it went right past the first baseman. SpongeBob stepped on the base and yelled, Dad, go! SpongeBob's dad rounded third and headed for home. The first baseman scrambled for the ball. He threw it to the catcher, just as SpongeBob's dad crossed the plate. Safe, bellowed the umpire. It was their team's first run. The crowd went wild. Go, yelled Patrick. SpongeBob and his team's dad went on to win the game. Nice game, slugger, SpongeBob's dad said to him as they walked off the field. I'm proud of you. Thanks, Dad, SpongeBob said. It was great playing with you again. Anytime your team needs another player, I'm ready. That's the end of our story. Good job, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and keep on reading.